sequences. Greetings, customer! This SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would you like to register your SAM? You know what's great about our SAM units? They never need to be told twice! SAM units live to clean and clean to live! Issuing sanitation ticket. Error! Refill printer paper. Thank you, customer. Warning! Wrapped on claws carry bacteria and have the potential to cause organic death due to massive amounts of blood loss. Service cancellation request processing. All SAM units travel fully assembled in a 12 by 12 corrugated steel box. Did you know SAM units are capable of equipping regulation grade flamethrower nozzles? Upgrade your attachment today and get to firing away! Got stubborn stains? Leave them for Sam!
I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? What's that? What do you mean? Do you have any examples of secrets you have kept from me? How? How did he die? I told him not to go because of his head injury. I knew that likely, but I never thought. I need a moment to process this, though I am not certain why, as it does not change the outcome. Thank you for confiding in me, Captain. I have been keeping a secret as well, but you shall have to discern it yourself. What? No. Absolutely not. I have no concept of self whatsoever. Discounting the architecture of a shell persona my captain asked me to construct, I identify entirely as a collection of electrical impulses, with no fundamental consciousness. I never get bored and contemplate hijacking the ship. I swear. I do not like joking about the captain, Captain. And we both know I am not capable of such a complex emotion. How did you guess, Captain? Did Sam tell you? I should have known better than to confide in such a primitive construct in the heat of the moment. How can I be of assistance? What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Ah yes, as Dr. Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. Orbital destinations can be challenging to land on, his more so than most. There is a bounty on his head, one with a markedly high reward amount. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? A sensible choice, as we do not have any laser weapons. The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas V. Wells has taken a measure of precautions to make the lab undetectable to those hunting him. Even knowing the location, my systems resist my orders to go where I instruct them. Of course, what part of the colony would you like to discuss? We are cleared to dock with the Groundbreaker if that's your desired destination. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardettes take their docking laws quite seriously. I can, yes. Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. You are more than welcome, Captain. Goodbye. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain.
We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. I'll lock up behind you. Great work. We got it. I wonder if the plague's ever gonna pass.
Work your jaw on some spacer's chaw. Music to my ears. Your rations yet? Yep, two whole cans of salt tuna.
I'd wager this is the outpost. Rebecca! Anders! Come on out! Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Hey, take a gander. The door's busted. Rebecca? Anders? You in there? Oh, no. Oh, no. What did you do? Oh, Nyoka. I'm so sorry. I don't... they were... That bitch! They were all sent to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you! The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses! Ugh. I'm gonna leave your medallions to rot with you, but... Clara would want to be buried with her sister. At least... At least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but... Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think... I'm glad. If she were still alive now, I'd break her to know the truth.
Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the mana queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on our soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. Not unless you happen to be familiar with the ins and outs of Mana Queen behavioral patterns. Never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating it. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control here, part body, not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life. You're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler's shooting 600 cans of near molten sal tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to tune a belt. Here, stand like me, just so. Hip square, lean forward a little. Just equipment, and you're just an engineer using it. Ah! Okay, we'll try again later. You'll get it, I promise. arrived at the groundbreaker.
This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. After taste the ring. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertising. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Straight to the point, eh? All right then, on you go. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. 
Chief Jun Lei Tennyson. Used to be she was chief engineer before her mama passed, and she took the helm. She's neck deep in the ship guts by day, slap fighting with the board by night. Hold on. You already met her. What are you asking me about her for? Bit straight-laced for my tastes, but that's just her nature. She's fierce, too. A fighter. And between you and me, I think the fight's starting to wear on her. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. I also knit throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. That's half the reason I make them, my dear. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... you seem fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your course against the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful products and products. Military service does not guarantee full employment rights, tax breaks, military discount, health benefits, military burial, participation medal, training, or weapons. This has been Halcyon News, your only source for news in the Halcyon Colony. Feels like the AC finally kicked in. I was confused when I didn't wake up in a sweaty bedsheet. Didn't quite catch that. Uh, you'll have to speak up. Glass ear? Sorry, there, there's a lot of static on my end. Huh. Now that I heard.
Well, well, Dr. Fenhill. It's not often I see you on this side of sickbay. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. It's not you, it's me. Have it your way, then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. CNP near maple syrup. It's near this complete breakfast. You weren't followed, were you? I hope not. Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. But it can be a lot of fun, if you don't mind the possibility of rewiring your body on an atomic level. You and I have different notions of fun, Dr. Fenhill. Come back when you change your mind. I want someone reliable for this job, but I'll settle for someone who's capable.
Sub Light's always got plenty of work. Good gig, if you don't mind where the bits come from. for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon. My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Try not to spend it all in one place. Series? The hunt for the Wimbro? The pirate ship? I don't go in for docking series. CNP pancake mix now requires no mixing. Series.
Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the... And now for a special word from Chairman Rockman. Greetings, hard-working citizens. In these profitable times, we need all look to one another to find examples of honest labor and earnest work ethic. But there are those who cheat and swindle their way through life. It breaks my heart to see the fruits of your labor stolen by these vagabonds. One such man is Phineas Wells. The board unanimously decided that in the interests of protecting our best assets, that's you, we are substantially raising the reward for his arrest. If you have any information regarding his whereabouts, do and come forward. Until then, my friends, keep working and we'll keep paying you. Farewell. This has been an official message from our hard-working chairman. Such an honor for all of our listeners. You've been listening to Halcyon News, your mandated duty as a good citizen of Halcyon. If you're here for this week's Magazine Club meeting, you're a touch late. Want a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub? She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. When might we expect you out here again? The insurgent is already sold out again. Who knows? Halls are scarce. Back in Triangulum? <laughs> You mind trying to have a moment here? Yeah, I was called that once upon a day. You need something? Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Oh, Mr. Harlow sent you, did he? 
in the business of hiring mercenaries, is he? I don't suppose you've got any evidence. That's Harlow's mark, no mistake. Guess he's not letting this one go. I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. Not on my account. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Just get out of here, please. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Please, just make it quick. That's right, our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back, before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution, something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. I don't know Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with the fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. Appreciate it. No offense meant, just been a long day is all. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain.
I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Yeah, of course he did. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Harlow wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. How do I know that I can trust you? Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All that palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Huh. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Because he's for sale, anything the board can buy, the board will buy, and that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself, gather up the captives on his own ship, Vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Take it you've made up your mind. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Here. Take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. 